All right, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Developer Dynasty here on our Wolverine Studios channel on Twitch. Uh, we are really excited to be talking Draft Day Sports Pro Football 2022 tonight. Uh, we've got some big news. We've got a big announcement on uh, on First Access, and uh, we've also got a brand new uh, brand new feature to introduce. Uh, we're going to spend most of the stream talking about. So we've got uh, Brooks and Asger here both tonight. It's a super show. Uh, we've, we've got the whole crew here with us tonight, and uh, we are ready to uh, to get going and to show off uh, some of these cool new things coming to the game this season. Uh, the first thing uh, I want to do, of course, always thank you to our followers and our subscribers, um, you know, all the people who are supporting us on the channel, and uh, you know, thank you in advance to everybody who will be supporting us through our first access program. Uh, First Access, for anybody who doesn't know or is new to our channel or new to our company, is sort of our pre-order phase. And what we do during First Access is we offer the game to anybody who wants to at a discount. You get a discount on the game, you get your license key right away, and you get immediate access to our beta builds as we kind of go through the final stages and, uh, and prepare for the final release of the game. Uh, with First Access also, we've always uh, given away Steam Key when the game's available on Steam to anybody who pre-orders. So if you are interested in, you know, you, you play on Steam, that's your mode of preference, you can pre-order from us, you can participate in our version of the beta, and then when the game is released, you'll get a key on Steam as well. Uh, the Steam Keys are only for those who pre-order as part of First Access, so make sure if, uh, if you want uh, to take advantage of that, that you get in on our First Access deal. Uh, first access for Draft Day Sports Pro Football 2022 will begin this Friday. So this Friday, as we kick off uh, a new football season here in real life, you'll be able to kick off your season in Draft Day Sports Pro Football 2022 in our first access uh, program. Come by the website Friday afternoon, wolverinestudios.com, and that is where you can uh, get in on first access. So let me bring in Brooks here uh, as we get started. Uh, Brooks, how excited are you for First Access? I First Access is always fun right? because it it means that you know we start to really get good feedback from from people on what we've been working on for for the past few months. Like uh, the lull between you know the previous release and you know development of the new releases. You know, it's, it, there's a lot of work that goes into these things. And so once you get the first access, that's when you start seeing the rewards for, for all the time you've spent and all the different features that, that you've picked up along the way. And uh, so, yeah, I always look forward to it. I think it's a lot of fun. And first access folks tend to be a little, they're bigger fans. I mean, they're, they're the folks that, that, you know, that like the discount, obviously, but they're also interested enough in the game to, to take a shot, even though it's it's, you know, quote unquote beta still. So I encourage, you know, everybody to join us and, and join our channels and join the Slack and, you know, participate in first access and, you know, we'll we'll do what we can to definitely get a lot of the uh, feedback incorporated as best we can. And uh, yeah. I do want to shout out to the folks who who joined. Uh, we had a, a small closed beta team that uh, helped test the build and test uh some of the, the new stuff straight out of the gate. And uh, I do want to say thanks to those beta testers for at least double checking some of my work and helping me find some things that, that I'd missed or that, you know, still needed a little bit of work. So hopefully the first access is, is you know, one of the more smooth launches that we have. And I think people are going to enjoy it. Yep. And I think uh, that's, it's always exciting as, you know, as a developer on, on the basketball titles, I'm always excited when we start first access, um, you know, it's just the the point where you can get it out there and and show everybody what what's you know what's new with it, how it's improved, um, and you know, not you know, it's, there's always a couple of of big features and new things. Uh, you know, we've talked about you know some of them in the earlier streams on football, but also just as important I think is what we do with the little tweaks and the little. You know, there's a lot of little suggestions that people give us that make the game better in increments, and all of those things add up to a better game uh, every season. 
they do the the little things like adding a head coach into the coaching history or you know teams that might have multiplayers or actually track like human head coaches uh, you know user owned teams uh, little things like that were relatively small features that we like to get in there the the ability to add uh, you know, a little bit more around the defensive line stats and a little bit more around offensive line stats, right? That's something that, you know, we've been looking at for, for a little while and we've had some good feedback on, on those kinds of things. So not everything has to be a big, giant, brand new feature. Um, you know, we obviously have the, the nice nice UI, the nice looking feel to make things a little easier, but we also have uh, a lot of work that's gone into the engine to tweak things, you know, end of game scenarios and you know spiking the ball scenarios and all those nagging things that constantly you know the engine is is good but it's not perfect it's never going to be perfect so every time we identify a scenario that can be fixed or a ui element that could be tweaked or you know a player pop up not going away when it's supposed to like any time that we can identify those and fix them all of that goes into these these releases so uh, we try and get as as many touch points as we can to make it as good a game as possible every, every release. So, uh, as you just asked about transferring custom plays. So, um, I forgot I even did this and I didn't even mention it to Gary or Asgar, but I did add in the ability to import and export custom created plays. So if you go into the custom, um, playbook and you create a new playbook and then you create custom plays now there's an import and export button there so for those people who have you know put a lot of work into creating those customized customized one-off plays not the xml style but the actual in-game play builder uh, you'll be able to import and export those and you should be able to open up a league even if it's a previous league um in like PF21, if you were to open that in PF22, you should still be able to export that and import that. Obviously, they won't go back into PF21, but um, any that you carry forward from those previous versions of the game should should work fine. So that is something I just added relatively recently. It was on my list, and I was able to get to it this week. So I, sorry, I wasn't planning on talking about that, but I completely forgot about it. Um, Zoop brought that up, so... That's a new feature. Um, so I guess what I'll do, one of the things that Asger and I have been playing around with, and, and Asger, as his passion project, is, is constantly trying to add immersion and constantly wanting to expand the horizons of what this game could be. Um, one of the things that he worked on quite a bit recently was a new mode that we'd like to introduce in PF22. Now, it comes with some caveats because we've typically not, we haven't done a new brand new mode for the game um, for a while, if ever, that this is something that's going to be completely different. And so we, we want to couch this as being a beta feature. We haven't got a lot of feedback on it yet because nobody's seen it. So we encourage the people who are playing first access or whatever to to take advantage of it, to play around with it, but treat it kind of like a beta feature, right? Don't convert all your leagues over to it. Don't expect it to be polished out of the gate. Um, this is just something new that, that we'd like to introduce. Um, I don't even think we have a good name for the feature. I think we're calling it play as a player for now. But the thought is basically you're going to be uh, able to basically play as a player. So we're going to add some RPG elements to this and uh, some different ways of um, basically immersion as a player in this larger um, pro sports football universe. So I'll let Asger kind of talk about what he's gone through so far and what, you know, what some of his ideas still are. But just keep in mind that this is still kind of a new to us feature too. So we're, we're looking forward to getting the feedback on it and, and taking it in in fun directions for uh, for the community. So, uh, Asger, why don't you dive in? Yeah, so thanks, man. Uh, yeah, so this was actually something I've been thinking about for a couple of years, because I was sort of thinking about what can we sort of do? We have this great engine, we have this good universe, so what could we sort of do more with it? Uh, so what I came up with was this, uh, well, it's basically a mini RPG that runs on top of the game. Um, and what you can do is that you can take control of a player 
And as you can see in, in the game that we've loaded here, we have uh, Paul Taylor, uh, the quarterback for the Dallas Superstars. Um, and this is a couple of seasons in, so a lot of things have happened for Paul Taylor. Um, so what you can actually do, you can still, you can't do the Madden style or uh, control him on the pitch. Uh, but what we tried to do was to add as many other things that you could do with the player um, as I could think of, basically. Uh, so in the top here on the screen, we have the, uh, you have a career and you basically have a level system, uh, just like in, in most RPG games, you get experience for different uh, elements. And uh, what, every time you get a level, you get some experience points that you can use to buy these badges. Uh, and the badges gives all sort of different um, benefits and bonuses. Uh, so you can take the development of your player in uh, a bunch of different ways, uh, different directions. So if you uh, if you just select a batch, Gary, I think uh, it'll show in the description uh, what the different batches do, uh, actually. If you just pick something in the um, in the drop downs. Um, so all of these, uh, and you can see the guy has already bought uh, four batches. Uh, I left a couple of points so Gary could show up the, the drop down uh, here. Um, so all of these badges do different things. Some of them give direct uh, bonuses to like an attribute. Some of them uh, give uh, bonuses on the field and some of them give bonuses in media uh, and stuff like that. Uh, so those, they are basically like, um, how can you say it's a, well, not a skill tree, but, um, but like a, a special, special ability, uh, kind of uh, bonus that you get for your experience. Um, and then on the right here, you see that we have an event lock where it basically just locks what, uh, what happens, uh, with the player. Uh, and we're going to be add, uh, adding to that uh, continuously, I think. Probably we will need some filters or at least maybe some history filters so you can just focus on the season that you're doing right now. But for now, it's just locking everything. And I even had to take out some of the locking because it was just spamming too much and it, it became unreadable. So eventually we'll probably do some filters uh, or something so you can just look at what happens. Um, so that's sort of the main page for, for the player's player. And then if we go to the social page, and this is where I've really been working and where I'm still working. Um, so basically, um, for the last couple of uh, versions of the game, we have been adding more and more uh, like personality attributes. So I think right now we have like nine or 10 hidden uh, personality tr uh, attributes that you don't see. Uh, but then you have, um, and then you have all, all the ones that you know with work ethic uh, and value, money, etc. That, that's been in the game forever. Um, so uh, we wanted to, yeah, Gary, had, oh, we, put, we converted them to uh, uh, radio graphs, right? Um, yeah, so <clears throat> I was thinking what we could sort of do with that. Uh, and uh, I wanted to get uh, more interaction with, between the players. And I was working on that, and I'm still working on that to, uh, in, in the game in general. Uh, but I figured that this player's player would be a good place uh, to sort of try it out on a smaller scale. Uh, so if we, again, if we start from the left, uh, we have a bunch of opportunities, uh, which is also still an awkward name. We might rename it eventually, but it's basically things that you can do. And uh, for now, all of the comments aren't implemented because I'm going to be writing some very complex code uh, to generate that. Um, but uh, the bottom ones with the union meetings and the media opportunities, uh, they're already working. So I think you can maybe even uh, do the, uh, yeah, do, uh, you don't have enough points for, for the union one, but you can do the uh, guest presenter thing. Uh, and then it should probably, uh, oi. Yeah, okay, we'll fix that. Um, yeah, so basically you, you'll have a bunch of opportunities and all of these opportunities will do different things. So if you comment on players, they'll be, uh, you can either be encouraging or you can criticize them and it can be players on your own team and it can be players on other teams, et cetera. And the same with coaches and teams and you can make promises for the next games or hedge your bets on the next game, et cetera. Uh, or you can gloat about your recent wins. And all of these things will sort of affect other players or coaches and or fans or media, etc. 
Um, and one way that these effects will show up is what I've, what I've put over here on the polling, which is basically how different people or different segments of, of the universe likes you. Uh, so you have your fans and the media and your own front office and your own coaches and your teammates. And this polling may go up or down um, in general. Uh, so if you uh, do union stuff, maybe for the players union, then generally uh, all the players will uh, in the league will like you um more uh, because you're working for them um but you might also uh, have specific players who uh, who will like you uh, more for instance if you are uh, if you're injured and you really uh, if you have a player who's who's injured a lot and but he still has like a lot of uh, high attributes in maybe he wants security and maybe he likes money or whatever then he'll like you for doing union stuff because it gives him like job security um and stuff like that. So uh, depending on how you uh, do with all of these opportunities that you have, you will get different relationships. So you can either have friends or foes, and you can have super best friends or arch enemies uh, over here on the relationship uh, list. And uh, the, usually, uh, mostly it'll be players from your own team who will be uh, who you'll have relationship with. But after like a season or two, all of these players due to free agency and trades, et cetera, they'll be spread out over the league. So you'll actually have friends on a lot of teams. Uh, and this goes to, that this can be coaches as well, for instance. Uh, and these will factor in uh, if ever you maybe hit free agency or you're going to be trading. So you'll have all of these friends lobbying for you. So you'll get more offers or better offers for, uh, from the teams where they're at in free agency. Uh, and again, obviously, if you have a bunch of players who hate you or a bunch of fans who hate you, that'll be detrimental to your chances of getting a new contract or getting media opportunities, etc. cetera. Um, and obviously, all of the, some of these opportunities, they'll give other things as well. So they can maybe increase the morale of your team if you're talking up uh, your chances of winning or um, or they can, uh, some of them even give you a little bit of experience as, uh, as well. Uh, so this is the whole social part of it, uh, and I'm, I'll, I'll be expanding on this uh, like for the next 10 versions of the game because this is the kind of stuff that I love to do. Uh, and then finally, we have the activities part, and I see Gary has already pressed the button there. Uh, so this was again me trying to, to build something where you actually could sort of control the player. Um, so uh, again, if we uh, start on the left, we have a bunch of actions. And uh, this action, uh, the first one is the uh, game effort. And uh, basically what you can do is you can save up a lot of extra energy uh, by um, accumulating free time that lets you rest. And that gives you these action points. Uh, right now you have 72. Once I tweak it, you'll have significantly less. So this extra effort that costs five will actually be a serious decision to, to use. Um, but right now I was just tweaking it, so you ended up this save game ended up with too many points. But eventually, uh, five points will be a lot. Um, and but the extra effort is already implemented. So if you put in an extra effort in a game, you will actually perform better in the game in a bunch of scenarios like catching and tackling and stuff like that because you're really trying hard in that game. Um, and the same with with the team effort. Uh, you can sort of do different things to your team to try and make them perform better or console them if they're down. Uh, or pressure them, uh, or make them rally if they're down. Uh, and again, uh, you won't have a lot of points, so it won't be every game that you will have enough points to spend on these efforts. So you'll also have to sort of decide if this is an important game that you really need to win, so you want to spend points on, on doing that. And then the last two of these actions are, um, are free actions. So uh, you can continuously study uh, some player, uh, and usually uh, the players that you'll be studying would be the superstars at your position. So if you were running a real league, this would be like Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady and, uh, and players like that. And then uh, the player that you're studying, depending on uh, how their ratings relate to yours, uh, you'll have small chances of, uh, of learning little things that will improve your player. The other one is again tied to the next match that you're playing, which is prepare for. 
Uh, and depending on, so this is a quarterback, so he'll be able to prepare for any uh, player on the defense. But if you're maybe, uh, if you're playing as an offensive tackle, then you'll only have like the defensive ends and the defensive tackles on this list. Um, and it basically gives you an advantage uh, against this particular player uh, in different scenarios during a game. So the rest of the screen is actually uh, an extra progression setting. Uh, so uh, you, this this runs on top of the sandbox league. Uh, so you'll still get the normal training that you get from for being a player in the game, but because we wanted this to be sort of a special um, uh, special RPG, we wanted to sort of boost the player's uh, ability to progress with their with a player. So what we have is that we have a team schedule, and the team schedule is set by the coaches. So depending on how tough uh, the discipline of your coach and how much he, value, he wants to control what players you'll have, a different amount of uh, entries on the team schedule. And the more, te the more entries are on the team schedule, the less you'll have entries on your individual schedule because you'll have less time. So if you're on, on a team with a tough coach, you'll have less uh, free time for your individual schedule. If you're with a lax coach, you'll, you'll have a few more slots on your individual schedule. Um, so the team schedule has uh, a bunch of uh, set things that you can't control, but the individual schedule you can. And uh, you'll see the combination of the two schedules. If you change some of the drop downs, you'll see the schedule summary change as well. Um, so if you, uh, depending on, no, I don't see it change. That's weird. It was working earlier today. Um, yeah, so basically uh, the schedule summary will um, influence how your progression um, will work. So you get some extra. Oh, OK, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's my bad. Um, I was talking while I was <laughs> the, while I was looking. OK, so it actually does work. Um, yeah, so so this works as extra training. And you know the uh, the physical, the athletic, and the technique, and then we have the conditioning and the game preparation and the free time. Um, and the free time converts into these uh, action points that you need for your actions on the left, and they also convert into the social points that you need for your opportunities. Um, and the game preparation helps you in the next game, and conditioning helps you with uh, with your stamina and your injury recovery. And physical and athletic and technique uh, helps you with your standard um, training that you know from uh, from the other game. And then you can see the additional progression uh, calculation here, so you can see how far you are from improving in accuracy and arm uh, on the right here. So this runs every week as well, um, to sort of let you control, um, you know, the the progression of your player. So that's where we're at right now. Um, so, at the moment, what we uh, the way it works is that you basically go, uh, you start a sandbox game, and then you go to edit player, and then you can there's a button where you can click control, and then you can take control of the player. Um, yeah, so it's in the bottom left here. Nothing will happen because we're already controlling this player. But <clears throat> so that's the way it works now. Um, but the plan is uh, for the future that we will. Um, we will uh, make a game mode, like a separate game mode, like Sandbox and Online and Career, which is uh, like uh, Brooks said, play as player. Um, but we might uh, find a better name for it. Uh, and the idea here is that you actually get to create a player uh, from scratch, and then he will get entered into the draft, and then I will be writing some awesome pre-draft interviews with different teams that might be interested in drafting you, and then you'll be drafted and, and land onto a team, and then you can sort of progress and have your whole career from there. But as it is right now, you can just basically go to edit player and take control of whoever you want. Um, and the other thing that I'm hoping uh, for the future is that we will be able to do this as uh, as an online feature. Um, so you will actually be able to uh, to control a player, and then we'll uh, add a password. So you log into your player, do your changes, and click export, and it goes onto an online league where a commissioner imports all the players and runs the simulation. And then we can just like we know from our uh, ordinary. Um, multiplayer leagues right now.
but everything is still uh, like Gary and Brooks underscore. This is still very much a beta version. I don't expect we will be fully done with it until the end of the first access period. Uh, but uh, definitely, once you get your hands on the game on Friday, feel free to uh, to play around with it and um, and spam us uh, if you see something interesting or something that happens. Uh, but we will be tweaking this continuously uh, over the uh, next couple of weeks, definitely. And what, was one, that enough talking? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's good. That was fantastic. Uh, you know, one thing I want to point out about this is, as I said, it's only on sandbox mode right now. And, and this is, you know, I, I know some people will open this up and say, well, I, I don't care about this. I, I just want to run my team and stuff like that. You don't have to care about it if you don't want to. You, you know, all the good stuff from the, the, the simulation standpoint and, you know, running your leagues the way you want to is unaffected by this. This is something new that, that Asger has been working on. And, you know, we talked about this and said, well, you know, when do we want to, you know, when do we want to bring this out? And I, I like the idea of doing it now as an add on that everybody kind of gets an opportunity to, to kick around for a while and, and help us build it into something bigger because the more we can expand the game, the, the further we can push it out, the more opportunities we have to do different things within it to give people an opportunity to play uh, the way they want to or to play a feature they want to. It's, I think it's better for the game, it's better for our company, it's better for our community as we you know expand and get you know into more and more people. And there are some people that you know I, I think really would like an idea like this where, you know, instead of coaching the team, you're a player. You get drafted. You know, you're making all the decisions for yourself going through the, you know, through the career. And I think it gives you, you know, a whole new possibility here of a different way, an additional way to play these games and to get more, even more, you know, more fun and more playtime out of the games by giving you, by expanding it and giving you, you know, different options, different ways to play without taking away anything from what we've already done really good. And, and I think that's right. been a, a big, big uh, important part. I want to stress that this is not breaking down, you know, the other parts of the game or that it's not ignoring the other parts of the game. This is something we're adding on and building into the game. Yeah, so you can play the game exactly like you used to. You don't ever have to look at this. You don't ever... Uh... It, it won't affect anything in, in the way that the other game modes are running. Um, obviously, if you're running one of the other game modes and you're controlling a player, then that player will uh, have these effects. But you don't have to ever click the control and have control players in, in your leagues or in your games. I, I should add as well that obviously, um, and this is, uh, isn't implemented either, but obviously, uh, Whenever your contract is is coming out up with a player, we'll make it so that you get to ex uh, decide where which offers to accept. Um, so you'll be able to override the uh, the logic that the players use to decide where to sign, either in free agency or extensions, and you'll get to decide for yourself, so that you can keep uh, Joss Allen with Bills forever, like it should be. Yeah, I think this is a fantastic new addition. I know, you know, we're we're constantly looking for different ways of expanding what we do with the game. And, you know, to be honest, this isn't going to be for everybody. This is something real specific that, you know, I think drives uh, some RPG elements that we haven't had in the game. And there'll be some folks that, you know, just aren't interested, and that's okay. We, we, we like that feedback, too. But the people who do like it, you know, we want to hear from you. We want to see what ideas you can come up with on how we can drive this forward. And, uh, you know, like Azur said, it's one of his passion projects, and I expect him to to just keep on expanding this for for a long time to come. So this is, this is going to be a fun evolution of, of this particular aspect of the game. And, I mean, as with anything, I mean, First Access, uh, you know, obviously we're launching it on a Friday, but, you know, it's still an unfinished game. Right, it's we try and polish as much as we can, but that's why we have first access in in exchange for, for a, a little bit of a discount and an advanced um, copy of the game. You know, we we hope that 
you guys will will give us some of the feedback that we need to to make sure that the features that you guys want are in there. Um, you know, it's not just a UI refresh. It's not just bug fixes. It's not just contracts. It's not just play as a player, right? It's all of those things that we've added in. Um, but that doesn't mean that we got to everything that, that you guys wanted. So if there's, you know, nagging issues that you'd like to see fixed or questions about the way the game works today that, that you're not quite sure of and you, you want, you know, to participate in that kind of thing, that's what first access is for. So we, we, we welcome the feedback. We want you guys to, to get in there and, and find all the, the things that, that you can that, you know, we could spend a little bit more time on. If there's a new feature, if there's a bug, you know, whatever it is, you know, join us on our Slack channels, join us on the forums. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to seeing, seeing you guys get your hands on it and taking it to places that we haven't even thought of. So looking forward to it. And a question in the chat is, uh, College Football 21, can that still link here, Brooks? Uh, yeah, the linking hasn't changed. Okay. I do have, you know, as we go through first access, um, I do expect to add some more support. Um, but definitely, if you guys think of different reports that you want to see from the college league into the pro league and different um, different aspects of college that you want to see while looking at the pro game, then yeah, let me know because we... We certainly can expand on that, add a little bit more data, you know, add it to some different parts of the of the pro football UI. And then when I get around to college 22, I'll make sure to add all those things in so that uh, those things start to appear in uh, in the program. So, yeah, we're definitely it, it's, it's already supported. But if you have ideas on how to expand on it or additional data you'd like to. see. Yeah, so. That's uh, you know, that, that's the big thing we want to cover tonight. We, we we're really excited to to finally show off, um, especially what Azure has been working on, uh, you know, so hard in the background for really quite a long time now in, in really nurturing this idea and and uh, excited to to bring it to you in the sandbox mode to start. And you know, as we we kind of build out from there, uh, as he said, eventually it will turn into a whole feature of its own as its own separate way to play the game, but. Uh, very excited to see that. I, I've been kicking around some of the same ideas for basketball over the years. Um, you know, and if we, you know, I, I think if we expand uh, the the different ways to play the game, I think it's only going to be uh, good for our our game, good for our community, and uh, and good for you know just the the whole health of you know the entire company and, and everything overall. Which I mean, we continue to grow. Uh, you know, our, our Twitch channel is growing the social media you know follows and stuff are growing um i'm really excited i'm excited to see how far the games have come uh very excited for friday uh if you're just joining late here to the stream friday afternoon come by wolverinestudios.com you'll be able to pre-order and get in on first access for draft Day sports pro football 2022 uh it will be it, it is definitely the best version of the game so far, I love uh, I love the new additions we've talked about in the prior streams, and uh, in this with uh, the players play as a player, I, I think it's just the tip of the iceberg of what we can do with you know with, with these games and expanding how we can give you even more of those uh, those nights where you're up till two three in the morning uh, playing just one more turn, and that's that's the that's our goal when we design the games. We we want it to be that one more turn game for you that you know you're losing sleep over because you, you just you got to play one more week one more season you got to find out how things work out and i think uh i, I think brooks and Asger have done a fantastic job uh with the game this year so thanks to those guys for joining me on the stream tonight thank you to everybody uh for coming out uh i know everybody's excited for friday friday afternoon again wolverinestudios.com You'll be able to pre-order and get your hands on Draft Day Sports Pro Football 22 in our final beta builds as we get ready for the final release. Uh, guys, anything before we go? Mm, cheers. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for coming out tonight. The uh, Developer Dynasty will return next Wednesday as well. We did basketball last week, football this week. Uh, we'll see what we do next week. So you guys uh, will see you back here. 
uh, for that. And we will see you Friday at WolverineStudios.com for the beginning of first access for Draft Day Sports Pro Football 2022. Have a great rest of your week and see you Friday.